final set now. Anubis Empire up north as the blue team. Yeah, their opponents, of course, front mission, myth front mission as the, the uh, yellow the side itself. And oh, look at that. That object, 416. They is, really uh, like that tank. I, I, I know, I know. And it's like Sun uh, Sun 9 uh, yeah. here uh, w with his. Uh, with his uh, medium tank here, with his Russian tier 8 middle tank, and uh, well, uh, it's, it's exactly the same lineup as last time around with it here. Oh, yeah. uh, when you take a look at Anubis, and on the other side as well, it's mirrored lineup. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, exactly the pink lineup. So it's going to be interesting to how this plays out because honestly, I mean, Anubis, I feel like they have the uh, initial advantage in most of these sets, at least, at least uh, in the initial engagement. But then once the engagement kind of prolongs, that's when they kind of lose their advantage. Uh, look at that. This is really interesting because uh, at first uh, we've seen like Anubis Empire going towards the eastern side of the railroad. And uh, now, uh, originally, actually, uh, Front Mission was going towards the eastern side, but as soon as they spotted the uh, Anubis members like monopolizing uh, the eastern front, they're actually switching to the west road now. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be a, a very traditional west-east separation. Uh, okay. Kind of the here. reason why they're actually kind of moving away and trying to avoiding this because confrontation well. is not only the hill, but also because there are way more heavy tanks on the Anubis side yeah, yeah, and they exactly. can't yeah. afford to engage them head on. Uh, so they have to use kind of hit and run tactics, kind of guerrilla warfare uh, against well, especially the Especially with those T-69s as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, they want to use those little loaders to, uh, to, to put the I mean, those Amex to use. Like, yeah. Actually, those Amex 13 are what's really going to kind of change the tide. Well, exactly. And, and they got to keep them alive. Yeah. They can't afford to lose one. Uh, oh, like but look it, at Ripper it, it, way up north over there. Yeah, yeah, he really is. I mean, he can afford to as well because uh, at the moment he knows that all the, all the Anubis tanks are to the eastern front. Yeah. Uh, so he, he's just trying to get a good feel as to uh, where the T1s were uh, as well. So it, this is a, a, a typical split uh, that we've seen on, on Prokhorovka during uh, the first season, uh, as a matter of fact. You know, before it was more of a head-on confrontation towards like the, uh, uh, the middle section of the map uh, during the open season. But more and more uh, uh, throughout Season 1, we've seen like uh, an east-west sort of separation as just well. Just kind of uh, the railway separating. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Or sometimes, sometimes not necessarily the railway, it could be the west road as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, one or the other. Uh, oh, but look at Kiss. He took about 500 damage already. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who got that damage onto him, but Anubis Empire looks like uh, they're a, gonna slight, I a mean, they're slight disadvantage on hit points. Yeah, maybe. And look at but look at that. You got that Suga, you got Sun 9 as well. They're just trying to get a peek as to uh, the uh, enemy base, uh, the front mission base down to the south. They're really, really close, but something tells me that, uh, yeah, they shouldn't cross like blindly. Mm, they're probably just going to commit if they are planning to push, they're probably going to commit like one of their T1s, but uh, more likely than not, I think they're just going to keep uh, uh, holding position uh, alongside the railroad. Yeah, I mean, this is the last set, so neither team wants to really uh, take, take too any, many yeah, risks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we won't see like uh, blind charges like yeah, we've seen yeah, on yeah. White Park or even on Mines. Like, uh, at this stage, you can't afford spotted to do there. that. Kind of towards the center of the map. One of I the think members... Sun's gonna cross. Yeah, actually, Kalantin, Anubis, and Batsuga, yeah, and crossing. Minato they're, they're crossing. are they're all crossing. crossing. Like, yeah. yeah, they're crossing to the side. Oh! Uh -oh. And the T1 goes That's down. That's not good news for Kalantini because that yeah. means now he is also the, uh, been spotted. Yeah, yeah, he's been spotted. And now, uh, basically, Anubis find themselves, like, scoutless. Uh, yeah. It's completely scoutless. And now Kalantini is the only fast tank out there. I mean, not exactly. Oh, but look, Calliope, nice vision coming out from Kalantini, allowing his team to throw at least, oh, two shots now onto Calliope. Oh, look at that. Help 800. me please with a flank here. Help oh. me please with a flank to the north. Can he crack shots? I don't think he's got the range from here, though. Yeah, I don't think he's got the range. He has the range. Oh, just the, oh yeah, 200. he managed. Yeah. On Gun and Rose. Oh, and another two. And <laughs> this oh, is brutal. wow. They're actually trading damage pretty evenly. I know. This is unbelievable. Except those T1s, it, it's pretty even still. Look at that. Help me please is doing so much damage yeah, out here. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Oh, look at another huge shot onto Gun and Rose. Oh boy, this is a lot closer uh, than uh, earlier on, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's when these teams are just slightly more passive where we see these long range games. Yeah, and, and it was really, really well done by Help Me Please. Like, yeah. you know, they're, they're really just front missions using like their extra mobility to a uh, 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 great advantage here. They're not committing the same mistake as the Immortals yet, pretty much. Uh, uh, and, and, and they're just really spreading out. So, Space uh, capture being started by front mission. Only one tank over there. Yeah, and oh, but look at Kalantini oh, and Batsuga. No, Ripper, Ripper, Ripper's, Ripper's yeah, trapped yeah, yeah. here. Ripper's trapped. He's got to get out of there. Oh, he's probably going to go down here. Oh, Batsuga. Yeah, one more it. shot. Oh, yeah, there he, he goes, goes down. 
He goes down, so uh, that's Caliope gonna... Caliope also really low indeed, here. Indeed, indeed. So uh, once again, the advantage going to uh, Nubis here, although Gun and Rose is really low, as you mentioned. So uh, it's still not game over yet. And the base capture is still ongoing. Yeah. Still ongoing. And somehow they have to cross that. Gun oh, and Gun and Rose, one shot away from One more here. shot. And help me please, still harassing his opponents from on top of the railroad. This is brilliant maneuvering by Front Mission. Yeah, they realize that no tanks are up there to the northern edge. So they, uh, they sent help me please up there to provide a great exactly. angle. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and they're leaving it to Calliope and the other tank to hold the big tanks like in the in the mid section of the map while the while the base capture is still ongoing. Look at yeah. that, sixty percent already. And finally, Calentini is going back to defend this, but. I think Help Me Please should be able to at least Cover. land a yeah, couple yeah. shots exactly, here. Exactly, exactly. Well, so, look uh, at this. Help Me oh, Please help right me please. behind Calentini at this indeed, moment. Indeed, indeed. And look at that. Calentini, he, he's oh, got to worry. Yeah, he missed. And he had to worry about Help, help Me please. please. is not even actually trying. He might be reloading still. Might be. But he's still staying alive. Oh, boy. This is so tight. Oh, oh Help Me Please. Oh, and he a huge is back. shot on Calentini. And this Another is, one. Yeah, I think Calentini is empty. Yeah, Calentini is empty. Yeah, so he goes down. also about to go down here. Oh, boy. This is an new One more like, shot. Oh, this is so tight, actually. It's, it's really, really if tight. If Kiss goes down, it's going yeah. to be a front mission victory, I think. Indeed, indeed. Front mission is really, really, really low uh, at this moment. But so far, he's still oh, alive that's here. Ruga, that's Ruga here. Perhaps, I mean, Kiss has to stay alive. Kiss should be pulling back right now. I don't know why he keeps no, no, trying to poke got, his head out. Well, he's got the terrain, pretty much. If he tries to pull back, he will get shot. But so help uh, me place over down the door. I know, I know. He, posts that he might get flanked even as a well. little bit. Yeah. But you know, one of his partners, like you've got the Sun 9X with his uh, medium tank that has got his back as well. So this is very well done by yeah. Ubis. I gotta say that they're really, really just uh, uh, holding on to life by a sliver, but they're doing it really well. It's not easy for Front Mission to go out there without suffering damage. Oh, and Calliope missing, and Anubis, like Kiss, missing as well. So oh, it's still a stalemate. C5M here lining up his shot. No, he's actually not. He's gonna compete. Oh, oh, and he no. goes down. This is, Kiss this is it. going down. Yeah, this yeah. is it. Yeah, look at top. He's still yeah, at full yeah. hit points. I, indeed, yeah. this is this is a front mission victory. So both the immortals. I mean, okay, we're gonna wait this time. <laughs> we're gonna wait. Well, you never know. You never yeah, know. We've yeah. seen some crazy uh, uh, comebacks <laughs> today. So I'm gonna wait until this is over. But most but likely, most likely, yes. Uh, this would be should be a front mission victory. So surprisingly enough, we already have the immortals who were demoted to the Challenger League by uh, Butter La Butterbag last year. And and well, a little less of a surprise because we all know front mission's quality. But uh, we. I don't think we could, we would have expected Anubis to bow down either. Yeah, yeah, no, this was an extremely, actually it was a lot closer than what the actual uh, score suggests. I mean, four tanks still remain yeah, yeah, yeah. on the front mission side, but I mean, those engagements were so, I mean, not only creative, but they just really seized every every slightest bit of opportunity, both sides. But and front honestly, mission came back from behind once again. Anubis I know, I had know. the initial advantage, but I think that really, for this fifth set, uh, you got to give it to, uh, to uh, okay, I'm just like, uh, uh, you help, me please, help, yeah, me yeah, help me please, yeah, like, help me please. Yeah, help me please. Really, manage a beautiful flank, like, yeah. towards the northern side of the railroad. Oh, it was because of help me please yeah. that it, oh, it opened up the rest of the map. For exactly, and he, he unleashed so much damage on every single tank, actually, because uh, it, it, yeah. it was getting rough for front mission, but he managed to deal at six at least a like equivalent plus. of like a, a, a thousand five hundred yeah. at least yeah, like because yeah, yeah. he, he unleashed he over and over yeah, again yeah yeah he, he unleashed at least like uh at least one full clip yeah indeed and Minimum. he got two personal kills but uh, more than that it's the actual damage yeah. he uh he inflicted and uh, his on the heavier tanks. Able to clean that exactly up. uh so uh the last uh, tank here going down